Hi guys, this is Sagar from SG Unreal Creation and today we are going to set up a random spawning system for uh for you. Actually, uh you can uh you can put anything into your uh, AI and uh, when they die they will spawn a thing they can spawn a health pack they can spawn a key they can spawn a random item which you can set it over here so yeah and um, uh, we uh, I just uh, I just show you what what I'm talking about so you can pick this and uh, in the left uh, right side here you can see uh, this is a uh, Intel count so uh, this uh, this two uh, health and keys we set it uh, previous videos but uh, we set this into this video and we set this uh, random style uh, spawning item kind of thing so let's jump into first of all I like to show you how it's work uh, when I shoot him actually I you know disable his spawn sensing so he can't see me uh, so I got a key and I change one very good thing into you know a uh, system of a door so in the previous video we just uh, need one key to open any kind of door we can open this door we can open this door this door with only one key but now I change whenever i press f did you see it uh, it re uh, here reduce my count so i i don't have any key to open new door but this door will always remain uh, open for me i can you know use on uh, close and open but uh, it no will require any key again so because uh, i said this kind of system so but if you go into new cabin you have to yeah, so here is a uh, Intel and here is a quest and this is Intel uh, so now here you can see you got to Intel so right now it don't do anything because uh, I don't uh, set any code for level completion uh, we will talk that uh, we will create that kind of system later when we make a hood uh, for our so now let me show you if I open this door it will consume my key so now I don't have any key left so the two door always remain open for me which I already open and uh, yeah, now I have two keys but this door never never reduce my key again so that kind of system I'll give you into this uh, uh, this series uh, I you know kill this guy suddenly he spawned something a hey, oh man he spawned one key and I kill this and he detect his buddy dead so he got he gave me a health pack and he gave me one key so I can use this to open a door and collect the item resources quest item anything you put into the random over here you can make a lot of you know the spawning uh, random spawn items you can make more uh, items but I only use health pack Intel key and quest and uh, for the uh, for the sake of this tutorial uh, you have to you know uh, quickly check here you need to set to health and uh, Intel you need to set Intel and key to set key don't forget this because by default is it is always set to none because we use this enum to determine you know to determine this kind of stuff so I already set into this project so let me close this this is my you know working project for you so just close this and open my fresh project <clears throat> so here we don't set anything so kick quickly first of all we need to go into main UI where is the main UI here we need uh, that uh, you know container uh, so what you what I can do is just simply control C and control this container health oh sorry horizontal box and paste it and uh, it will go over here and adjust according to your needs but I'll 
I don't want to waste time on to adjusting so just I I already you know um, input some any uh, sorry icons so I use this interaction and it will this kind of icon I Google I find this on Google so just 38 size is okay for me I think yeah and if I want I can a little bit crank this value and adjust according to me okay after this we need we need to bind this you know bind this I um, sorry count so just create binding and here you just need to copy as you or you can just find over here and drag and drop so just paste it over here you can name it but I leave it for now um, get get Intel sorry get Intel so this is our Intel count so it will give us our count whenever we pick Intel so, okay so now when we play we got icon so it will uh, not align you can you know align it I don't want to you know not want to waste too much time okay like this I think it's looks better now yeah okay <clears throat> so after this close this and open your master random here master random pick up here we need copy something like this copy everything this uh, okay and copy and control C control V again because we need Intel and we need quest item so plug it and here we need a uh, Intel this is it for Intel get Intel so this is Intel and we need set Intel again get and set set Intel okay <coughs> <coughs> sorry mm, okay after this same for this get quest if you think where is this come from please if you are new please don't follow this tutorial because you will be get puzzled because uh, you don't know where is this uh, you know variables come from so you have to check my all tutorial series and uh, then you follow me then you understand everything if you directly jump on to this tutorial maybe you give me a dislike because you don't understand what please a lot of people I I saw on my channel they don't you know see watch my videos and they give me a dislike they don't even uh, watch in a minute and they give me dislike and that disappoint me because I put a lot of effort to make this tutorial and I always talking about never just like anybody tutorials because they you know invest their time to make a tutorial and people come and I don't know why they come and they give you dislike I don't know why <clears throat> I never dislike any tutorial uh, when I was new in Unreal I never dislike anybody I follow a lot of people like Tesla he's a good guy and there's a, a game Dave, I think game Dave, Unreal game Davy. He's also very good guy. There's a lot of uh, good people's there who make uh, very good tutorials, and people love it. So please appreciate, guys. You are uh, you are Unreal newcomer. So please uh, like developers who create things for you. So always give a thumbs up. I think then they will make more videos for you if you give a dislike maybe they thought why are we wasting our time to getting dislike oh no we don't make any tutorial man we only show our work what we can do so that's why i i want you give a you need to give a appreciation to the people who make uh, tutorials 
so there oh yeah okay well, when you set it it will set like this and uh, it's work fine you need to close it after this this will set it correctly and after this we need go into AI <coughs> and open this uh, and here we need some you know we need one you know event custom event so press T and dot you get a custom event it's a shortcut you can call it shortcut but it's not okay just spawn name it is spawn my you know typing is so slow guys so please forgive me don't dislike don't dislike on this for me <laughs> because my speed is really so spawn and uh, spawn what I name it is spawn item yeah item spawn item okay after this we need we need um, spawn uh, actor from you know spawn actor from class this one and we need a transformation we need a class and uh, here we need some variables oh I forgot to, <coughs> uh, to delete but yeah you can see over here because it's a copy of my test project so I, <laughs> I forgot to delete this uh, it's uh, it's okay uh, so you need to create one no, you can create a variable and name it random item and you need to set this into here uh, random this one you need to set enum this is our enum we need this enum so this is a random pickup type so you have to create this and you need to set it random pickup type and it needs to be editable because we we want edit on real time whenever you put your AI you can edit this what what item you want to spawn in the world when your AI will die okay so you have to make it editable and uh, make one class item class and uh, you can just you know promote to variable name it item class and delete from here after that you just need to master random you need find master this one a master sorry master no pick up what what a name master random pickup so you have to uh, changes master random why it's not showing that random oh man my tar what 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 the heck my I'm really spell very wrong this is a master master <laughs> martyr whatever save it okay uh, so now this is the master and uh, you can open your master AI so you just choose master master random this is you just need to change its class okay I already changed the class so you can determine the class over here and uh, save it so what you can do just take this and don't forget it's editable and you just need switch <coughs> switch okay after switch we just need something so just set this and we need four times so just this is two copy paste four times so health key and tell item you can make more if you want you it's a, it's depend on you and after this every time it's spawning item okay <clears throat> here we need it's a health we need a select health and here it's a key key intel intel and this is a quest item okay and it will give you error because we don't set any transformation so in order to how to you know spawn item incorrectly position because we don't know when when we fire oh, sorry I know it's a break uh, if I you know disable this I'll show you uh, if you you know 
if you take a gun I, I'll let me show you this is I, I want to you know describe everything each and everything so if I shoot him uh, for the uh, for so we don't know where to spawn we make a points but uh, sometimes he oh man <laughs> Uh, so you need a correct uh, location because um, maybe sometime he you use animation and uh, what what uh, what it look like maybe uh, sometime it is a spawn on the uh, air so you just always spawn in certain you know location or you can make a spawning point but what I what I experience when what I use for my project I just use a socket locations that is very good so I just use a pelvis pelvis you know his pelvis whenever he died or a ragdoll anywhere uh, uh, you know he he loses a collusion box uh, uh, sorry capsule and maybe he he walks and he you know a ragdoll over here so I don't want to spawn in here or in in here I want to spawn exactly on the floor and on the this location you know his tummy location so what I what I use I just use a socket location you know mash socket transform his location so what I do is just pal with this is AI pelvis and here we need a break break transform if you don't do this I will show you what what will happen um, and um, here make transform make transform like this if you you know use this or you can make any kind of socket like this spawning arrow and this will not fix your problem because if you totally uh, use this and um, you have to you know call this into somewhere here when player die into here so we just spawn item so let me show you one quickly and uh, spawning what the f actual oh actually I forgot to plug this you know item class so we just quickly set this and uh, it will automatically spawn just compile and uh, you just determine what this guy want to spawn in so if I you know if I go over here I just choose a help so you can choose key whatever you like I just okay live like health pack and here we just change key we want health pack each and every time when we kill him so just take a key open door or take us you know and take some health pack so fill press H to fill your health and suddenly I shoot him Oish. so now he you know fall very you know very and did you see that's what I'm talking about did you see this is not you know correctly fall and you know it's a totally you know messed up so that's what I what I talking about so what I do I just you know unplug this and make transform because we don't need a rotation and a scale that's the that's making a problem so we just need a location okay and put this into here and we need uh, you know put on the floor not floating on the ground so uh, on the air so what I do is just get skeleton or if you just uh, direct simulate physics it will give you a skeleton mesh also so simulate simulate physics over here static mesh and there is one problem and um, the problem is uh, I use both skeleton mesh and you know this also so I use for my my meshes is a skeleton mesh if you have a static mesh 
you use a static mesh you know simulate physics and uh, if you not understand I'll show you what I am talking about okay you need to open master first of all in order to proper collision your uh, you want whenever he die he spawn a thing and suddenly his um, spawning item will drop on the ground okay so you have to check collision properly otherwise it will float on the air so you just need to check if your collision is perfectly set it or not so just stick uh, if you use static mesh you just use this setting uh, dynamic or whatever but here you uh, custom collusion enable and ignore a block ignore visibility channel and uh, camera and ignore pawn also but everything is uh, you know blocked so it will ignore your pawn and also ignore your you know shooting uh, trace also but uh, it will always block uh, static mesh and uh, world static items okay and same thing for this uh, s uh, s uh, skeleton mesh uh, this is said to be uh, wrong but yeah same thing for this same same setting for this <clears throat> so I use skeleton mesh because in my health pack is a sta skeleton mesh let me show you my, I don't set any static mesh and this this mesh is a skeleton mesh did you see it's a skeleton mesh so that's why I use over here skeleton mesh why are you wasting my time to you know in uh, full inform you because I want you will set properly and you understand properly things after that otherwise you complain me this will not work my you know my spawning on the air uh, blah 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 things are so that's why that's why guys I'm here for you guys okay so let me check I'm you know I'm fed up of taking a key and open the door and kind of stuff so just oh man where is it where is it stupid Sure, rifle. Okay, here's. Okay, come on, pick this rifle. And now I'm kill this guy. Oh man! Oh man! Did you see he's falling very, very far off his collision box? So. Oh wow! Everything work fine, Sagar. You doing great job. Did you see it fall correctly on the floor? correctly perfectly so let me show you one thing so how you can set so take a new AI put on through on the level and you just need two waypoint or whatever you like put like this select your AI okay and give the AI points give the AI points of course I throw two waypoints so first is this uh, use the picker tool to pick the uh, waypoint and this one second one is this this oh it you know detect this light mouse actor so sometime picker tool pick anything so so select so this and here you need to mention what what you want to spawn so here I just spawn a key okay I think this video go long so I split this into two parts so after this we will continue uh, continue making a, a pickup for uh, you know uh, Intel and uh, other thing Intel and quest items so now this guy will move around on the and I shoot him and now look what he is spawning oh did you see it's fall correctly on the floor so you got a key and you can open the door but uh, door code is not set you can it never you know consume any key you can open you this is the problem you can open uh, one key for all doors so you can go with this secure door and you can go and get you know 
items from here right now we don't set any items into here but you can take quest item and level scope so I just want to make the secure kind of door so next tutorial for that after this thank you guys hope this will help for you for into your project and please give me a thumbs up and please share my videos because uh, uh, a lot of people don't know how to make uh, things or they are beginners so please share also and uh, please uh, join my FB page so I can help you better there okay there is a tons of people they also help you so join my SG Unreal sorry Unreal Master Academy <laughs> so thank you guys uh, I'll, I'll make more videos uh, after this Thank you, bye-bye.